So I found a nice uh, coal mine here that I'd like to uh, digitize. So to do that, I need to add a, an extra layer on top of my, my existing layers. And this should be a, a vector layer. And I'm going to trace shapes on that layer. So to add an extra layer, there's no simple file add, uh, make a new layer option. Instead, you need to use the R catalog tool, which is basically you get the R catalog by clicking this thing. And it will basically, uh, it looks a lot like the Windows Explorer. Uh, you can just browse through files. So in this case, I just go to my folder that I'm working on. I right click somewhere in my folder and I choose new. And then I, in this case, I'm going to choose a shape file. Because uh, shape files are easy to share with the other people in the group. For other projects, you might want to use a file geodatabase to store your factors, but shape files are really good for sharing. So let's make a shape file. And uh, let's give this shape file a good name. So in this uh, case, let's call it coal mining from 1860. And we are in Polygon. This is Polygon 30, I think, that I'm working on. Now you can then choose the type of polygon. So a point if you're only digitizing points, a, line, a polyline if you're only digitizing lines, and a polygon for if you're digitizing uh, closed shapes. In this case, we're going to use a polygon. And then here it's the asking for a coordinate system. So we need to enter the British national grid. So the simplest way is just to go to the search button, type British, click enter, and then we'll probably find it. In this case, we're not in the ocean anywhere, just in Europe. And there we go, British national grid. And we just click OK, and that's our coordinate system set. And in this case, we're using the British National Grid because it's the same as what's the, what Digimap is using. And it's generally just a good coordinate system to use in the UK. So we click OK. And now our new, uh, new shape file appears here. So I can just right click it uh, or just click and drag it. And I can just throw it anywhere on my map. And now it will appear in here. And I've accidentally done that twice. So I've got two of them. I just remove one of them. Um, so now we have this new layer and we can use this to add features. Right now it's empty, so there's nothing to see. But if we right click this layer and we do edit features, start editing, the editor toolbar should appear, it's or in this case it's already here. So the editor toolbar allows you to edit things. And you can only edit files when they're in edit mode. And you can stop, if you press stop editing, you'll leave edit mode can save your edits. So it's a very important button. And the other one bu important button here is the create feature. So if we click this, we can start making a new one. And let's in this case, close our catalog because it's taking up too much spa space on my screen. And in this case, so I click the layer that I want to work on. In this case, coal mining. And then here I could type and you know, select the type of feature that I want to add. In this case, I'm going to go for a polygon. And I'm just going to trace the outline of this. So I click here, and then I click here, and then I click here, and then there, 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 there. Now, I think I'll just follow only this feature, although there's clearly a mine shaft here as well. So let's just add that to my coal mine as well. It's a bit of personal judgment what you do. And when you're finished, you just double click, and now we've finished uh, this coal mine. And then we can basically just move around and see if we can find another mining feature anywhere here in, inside our polygon. Oh, here's another mining feature. So we can add that as well. I just click create features again. And I choose a polygon and I just trace this feature, this shape here. And I double click here. So now I've added two features. And the goal of the exercise is, is just to uh, do this for all the mining features inside your polygon. Don't spend too much time on it because you want to move on and share all the data with the group.